Well, the road to the Sweet 16 continues tonight in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. And a company from Hamilton is playing its part, one whistle at a time. Debbie Little Kwan introduces us to Fox 40. It might just be the only sure bet this March Madness. Every time you hear an official blow the whistle, it's a Fox 40. And that sound is music to the ears of Ron Foxcroft. That shrill, that's the first thing I notice when I travel around the world, the sound of the Fox 40. You never tire of that. Never tired, it's beautiful. A career referee in basketball, Foxcroft was working the 76 Olympics in Montreal when his whistle failed. I blew my whistle with the little P and it got stuck. Foxcroft then went to work with an engineer on a radical design, one that doesn't use a P or a small ball inside. Foxcroft had two prototypes, no sales, and was deeply in debt when Opportunity came whistling along at the Pan Am Games in Indianapolis. At 2 a.m. in a dorm filled with 400 referees, he made his pitch. I had my prototype. And I blew it like that. And all the referees came running that week and wrote 20,000 orders. The Fox 40 begins taking shape in Mississauga. There are now 11 models and 37 colors. The three chambers are ultrasonically welded together. Ron's son Dave explained to me how it works. And you'll hear a high-pitched sound, and that's the energizers rubbing together to weld the whistle together to make it one piece. Used by almost every professional league, the company sells 11,000 whistles a day. That's yeah, mind-boggling. Fox 40 has grown to 900 products, including safety kits, coaching gear, and even a whistle. blast horn. <laughs> ah, the continuing sweet sound loud. of success. Hey. Debbie Lytle-Kwan, CBC News, Hamilton.